Hey, Jim Grammy. You know, sometimes we need shoes, but but we don't want to go out and spend close to two hundred dollars for a pair of shoes, which is normally the, about the price line area price point that I look at, uh, because I I only wear certain brands generally because I've learned to like certain brands. I'm snobby, I guess. But occasionally you have these immediate needs, and you don't want to go out and dump two hundred dollars on a shoe that you're not even sure if you're going to like, and you don't even know if you're going to need it very long. Well, I needed a cognac brown tan colored shoe. These are the La Milano. It's a men's, uh, men's, uh, uh, it's a men's a double monk strap. What the double monk strap does is it looks like this. Say this is the other shoe, you know, the, the left. This is the left, this is the right. Sorry, I do know my difference. I just, I'm trying to look online on the camera and never mind. Uh, anyway, uh, but this is how it looks closed. Uh, I, I have it open so you can see how it's constructed. This is a surprisingly good fitted shoe. It's well constructed. This is a sewn on sole. Uh, th this is where they actually take, when they construct this shoe, that means that the, that the leather upper here, it actually wraps completely around. Now there's probably a, a point on the, in, the, in the mid sole of the shoe, uh, you can't see it because the, the, the sole's over it, uh, where, the, where both sides of this leather are sewn together on the bottom. On the bottom. But this leather is a—it's a flexible. Uh, It's—they say it comes from Argentina. I don't know. What I do know is the cow obviously doesn't need it anymore. But it's—it's uh, it's very flexible. Uh, I've worn them for for a couple days now, uh, not long each time. But uh, very flexible, very firm fitting. Uh, not a lot of extra room in the toe box area, which is right here. A as you can see, uh, probably if I you look at the uh, the right shoe here, you can tell. Uh, this is this narrows quite a bit. I'm going to attach some photos of it so you can see, you know, what it looks like actually on. Uh, it narrows quite a fit, bit, but it still has a good amount of room in the toe box. Uh, now, uh, like today when I had them on to take the pictures, I had some heavier socks on. Not really work socks, but they're a lot heavier than my dress socks. And, uh, and they still fit very, very comfortably. I, I was very pleased. Uh, the arch in these, you can actually feel the arch. It's not a high arch. But it's not flat either. Um, now I normally wear arch uh, insoles uh, to go in these because I play a lot of tennis and I, anyway I just wear them. And uh, but very nice. I I was just right out of the box putting them on. <laughs> I was really impressed. You know, sixty two ninety nine on Amazon, five April twenty nineteen. That was what I just looked at the price. Uh, I was very impressed with it. Now notice the shoe is burnished on the toe. That means it's darkened because of the way they polish it. Basically, they're slightly burning the leather with friction, and then they do it again on the heel. This gives it a little bit of an antique look, which is generally associated with your higher quality shoes. It's marketing. That's what it's all about. But it does make the shoe a very attractive shoe. Uh, that's what it's like on the bottom. There you can see, see how it is. This is here. It's, uh, it's textured so it doesn't slip and slide. And then that's, that's, the, that's the top of the shoe. Um, uh, the buckles here, uh, they're, they're fairly, uh, my, if I get too close to the camera, it changes color on me. Um, you know, they're fairly high quality metal. Uh, the, the elastic is actually fairly heavy. It's, uh, you know, I mean, I, there's a better quality elastic, but, uh, but for, the, for the price of this, it's very good. Um, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve whenever you're first trying to put these on and you want to get the, uh, you know, you want to, you want to get, you know, that part of the buckle in into the hole of the shoe so that they fit. Uh, they call these slip-ons uh, on the site. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> these are not slip-ons. Uh, if you've got an incredibly narrow foot or you have a very low instep, this is your instep here. Uh, this is your arch under here. If you have an incredibly low instep, in other words, where your instep doesn't go like this, it's much, it's much lower, maybe you can slip these on and off. Now what's nice about this is they give you um, they, they give you a little shoehorn. Um, it, it works. Uh, I mean, it's not done like the shoehorn that I have at home. I got a long handle one because I don't like bending over. And then they put the shoes in the individual bag, which they've got La Milano on it because that's the name of the shoe. Um, it, I'm, I'm very pleased with them. I mean, these are just a surprisingly well-made shoe. I am just blown away with how nice these things are. Um, they are a textile line shoe. Uh, that means that they're not completely leather. There is leather here in the heel cup that keeps your foot from your heel from sliding up and down out of it. Um, but it's got it's textile line. It's not a leather line shoe. These are not expensive enough for that. 
Um, if you, probably that's probably going to be the first thing that will wear out of these shoes eventually is you will wear through the textile. But for $62.99, you're going to have to wear these a whole bunch to wear that textile lining out of this thing. Uh, think cloth, okay? Um, stacked heel. The heel is one inch from the top of this sole to the bottom. Uh, and stacked heel, this is a very a much softer rubber sole here, which keeps it from your heel from sliding. And this is a stacked harder material. And then, of course, it's, uh, it's glued here uh, to, to the sole itself. Like I said, this is a sewn-on sole. Wow, um, I, I did not expect that. Uh, a lot of shoes at this price, they're just glued on. They're a solvent weld shoe, and that's just the way it is. Um, the new solvent weld shoes rarely come apart, but, uh, but generally the, it, it causes deterioration of the leather here. This is a leather shoe, cognac color. I, ha I wear a size 11D. I am incredibly pleased with these shoes. I mean, there's just... I just, I was just blown away. I seriously was. Uh, the, these are just, uh, well, not, these are not, these are not Cole Haan. They are not Echo. Uh, they are, they are not Johnson and Murphy, and they are certainly not Allen Edmonds. But for the La Milano, for, for a shoe, if you need a shoe for a specific purpose or a specific event, and you don't want to dump a couple hundred dollars for a shoe, but you want something that looks good and that feels good and that will, you could actually wear other places, this is the shoe to have. Uh, I, I can't think of anything other than the fact that, you know, they say it's a slip-on. That's just not happening, not in my world. Maybe in yours, but not in mine. And I'm not really sure how you're going to get your whole foot out of that opening. But $62.99, La Milano, Amazon, goodbye.